Good evening. Heavy bench, heavy squat, light dead day. So again, uh, a little bit different doing a bit of a voiceover today instead of doing a vlog. I actually had a vlog, a bit of a vlog set up before, but uh, this video is going to run long anyways. Uh, so you see here, for set one at 150 pounds for bench, I'm uh, setting up with feet on the bench again. I just start, I'm starting to feel more comfortable with it now. Um, I had done two warm-up sets uh, and decided not to film them, so I'll just go right into the uh, into the work sets. Um, so you can see I'm pressing pretty well with my uh, pressing down with my heels, getting my traps back into the bench. Although I'm sure that it's not going to be entirely exactly what needs to be done, but uh, we're getting there. And we'll slide into uh, set two here. So again, setting. I'm just trying to get a higher arch while I set. Um, again, it's still a new movement for me, so just trying to get that uh, that set in, in my head and go on from there. Still trying to keep that crazy arch and uh, unrack properly. So again, here I'm just watching. This is really the first time that I'm watching this outside of the gym. Um, looking at my heels right now. Um, they're pressing down. Not too bad. Uh, like I said in, in the other video, I'd like to try and get um, uh, get video in the regular bench area to see what kind of arch I can get. That wasn't too bad of a set there. And uh, going to set three. Probably should have cut this part out, but uh, there you go. The perils of video formatting, video editing. So again, um, I was reading something. Uh, that I got a, a pick of the day from Elite FTS the other day, and it had a, a bunch of uh, plates that were taped together, and written on the tape was, if you bench with bumper plates, then you're stupid, or something along those lines. And uh, it's kind of funny, because <laughs> right now I'm benching with bumpers. <laughs> so... But uh, just for now, it's for filming purposes, and I'll uh, I'll see about getting to to the main area to film. Now uh, I think this set I do a little bit worse with my heels, with my leg drive, and I begin to realize it. And one of my I think my left foot is out of alignment here, and uh, I go to I go to fix it. So in behind there, you can hear you can hear a woman going nuts. She's doing a. Uh, uh, power cleans, or, or a clean and jerk actually. So she was kind of loud. Anyways, those were that, that was bench. And here's uh, squats coming into squats right now. So uh, here's uh, set one at 165 pounds. Again, uh, trying to get the bar a little bit further down my back uh, and unrack it as a half squat instead of. Uh, calf raise. Um, and you can see my depth is better than it was on Thursday. Um, I'm consciously trying to keep my knees out, and I think the times where my depth comes back up to parallel is when I'm worrying about uh, butt, butt wink. But uh, I'm, I've, I'm trying to tell myself, work on one thing at a time. Um, try and keep your lower back just tight, but make like you're trying to drop your, uh, as Ezra Pateau would say, drop your dick down between your knees. So I'm trying to keep my knees shoved out through the entire motion, which I'm doing pretty well. Uh, and yeah, move on to set two. So here another uh, gratuitous butt shot. getting a better feel for where the bar goes on my back here and trying a narrower, bit of a narrower stance. Keeping the, uh, I see that I'm, I, it's, it's kind of cool to, to have the, um, to be gripping the bar from underneath now, uh, because it drives my elbows under the bar a little bit more on the way up, and it, it kind of 
helps on the ascent. Ha ha ha, ascent. And uh, still trying to get that bounce out of the hole. If you get a bit of a bit of a drive up. Pardon me. It looks like it's coming along pretty well, so. I really can't wait to get my home gym done so I don't have to go to the I don't have to worry about filming and other people being there, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So and again taking my hands off the bar just sucks with those wrist straps. And I've set three a bit of a different angle this time just to try and get more of everything shown and not just my glutes. So there you see trying to get uh, trying to get the bar lower much lower on my back. And it's a bit difficult to walk out of that rack with uh, with the bumpers because it's a uh, they're they're very large and they they hit the sides. So again knees knees coming in a tiny bit on the way up but trying to keep them driven out as far as much as possible and uh, trying to not jut my ass out before I drop in the hole uh, like I usually do. Uh, that sound before was just a girl uh, dropping the f f just the bar. She finished the set and dropped the bar on the ground. So. Here's uh, last rep here. And I was just 15 at that point thinking about everything that was going on. So It wasn't that it was heavy. It was just mentally fatiguing. We're going to deads here. Um, again, I love this part of the gym because I can use chalk now, so the plastic bag that's there has, a, has my chalk. I've been told to kind of sit and build tension before exploding up, so I'm trying to do that here. And you see that I grab the bar, look up, chest up, sit back, and then sit there for a second, and I'm kind of pulling the tension out of the bar uh, as I sit in that bottom position. And uh, try and make it like a like a lever, and and explode up as uh, much as possible on these light days. And when I slow down, it's probably because I'm thinking about something and completely forget to drive up as 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 hard as I can with my uh, with my heels. So it's all a, all a learning experience and uh, getting there. These are. These deads get tiring because I'm sitting so long in the hole in the starting position. You can see me there just grimacing a bit because it's uh, it's kind of taxing. I'm hoping to be able to get get to the point where I don't need to sit in, in the starting position. I almost rocked back there, and uh, that rep actually felt it's probably one of the cleanest reps that I felt um, that I had. Uh, now it's 135 pounds, so. When I'm sitting here in the in the starting position, and uh, I'm pulling the tension out of the bar, the, the weight's actually coming off the floor a little bit, so I'm, that throws me off a tiny bit. So I gotta kind of... Uh, I, it's weird, I know that if you, it looks like I'm jerking the, the weight off the floor, but I'm really trying not to. <laughs> it's hard to not pull the weight off the floor. Uh, because it's only 135 pounds, so I guess on Monday we'll see how uh, how things go when I have that. So now set two. I move the camera a little bit so we can see the bar path, hopefully a little better. Uh, I do have a, a scrape on my right shin right now, so so I'm dragging the uh, the bar up pretty well uh, along my shins. I'm going to start wearing. Uh, my black socks. And I think I miss a rep on this one. Uh, and what I actually did was I looked at the uh, the camera afterwards and just made sure. Uh, and I think I actually ended up doing an extra rep and it was about 10 seconds after or something like that. So again, just sitting for a minute. Well, not a, not a full minute, but you know what I mean, uh, before pulling. And then ripping the bar up as uh, as quickly as I can after having taken uh, the tension out and uh, 
I'm trying to get it uh, up as quick as possible. That I know will come with time. Um, it's difficult to do it right off the bat, but so this is rep eight. So yeah, I did miss a rep. And I, I looked at the camera afterwards, I was like, I think I missed a rep. And I did, so I did another one just just to make up for it. And uh, here we go with set three. And set three is pretty much the same. Uh, there's nothing really exceptional about it. I don't know if there are any other angles that I can really get for, for deadlifts. Because uh, you kind of want to see where the, uh, the bar path is going and how the back is, where your hips are, and if your chest is rising quicker or not, so. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed the uh, the video, and uh, I'm going to stop talking for, for almost eight minutes here, so. Take care, and uh, see you again on Monday.